Do you guys wanna learn the best way to thin out thick hair? One of the things I get asked a lot is really how do we remove and make thick hair look thin? So let's go ahead and get started. Now there's a few different things we wanna talk about guys is let's talk about number one, the tools you guys wanna use. There is a blunt scissor right through here and you've got texturizers just like this. The teeth remove other kinds of percentage of hair, right? You've got anywhere between 20, 30, 50. Another thing that you actually wanna use or you can use is a razor, right? Now, a razor in itself looks like this, okay? The thing about it is that it doesn't matter what you guys use. Most people, when it comes down to texturizing hair, if you've got straight, wavy, or curly hair. If you've got curly hair, I would use a blunt scissor. If you've got wavy hair, you can use a razor and a blunt scissor and or a texturizer. If you've got straight hair, you can use a texturizing scissor or a thinning scissor and a razor and or a blunt scissor. You can use all three. Disclaimer here, guys. A lot of times when people, they think the curlier the hair, you can't use a razor. You actually can use a razor. You just have to make sure that your blade is extremely sharp. That's it, disclaimer, okay? Some people think, you know, if you've got curly hair, you can't use a razor. That is not true. You just wanna make sure your razor's sharp. All right, guys, so the thing about it is that I wanted to wet down, and I'm gonna show you guys how you guys approach it on wet hair, and then I'm gonna actually do it on dry hair as well. So you can kind of see how that is. Most of the time when I do it on dry hair, I would do it on hair that's actually finished. It's got a nice polish to it. But I wanted to show you guys the difference. The best ways on how to thin out your hair are gonna be, number one, a blunt scissor, okay? Now, when it comes down to using a blunt scissor, you wanna kinda keep in mind where you are on the head. So if you're anywhere near the part, right up in this area, you probably wanna start further from the scalp because you don't want a hair that's gonna stick up, especially if the hair is super, super thick, okay? Now, if you're dealing with hair underneath the part, you know, wherever it is on the head, you can go a little bit more aggressive, okay? Now this might scare some people, but just know kind of where you are on the head, okay? Now, one of the things is when you are removing weight, you wanna think about a couple different things. When you're removing weight, you're trying to get the hair to collapse. And when I say collapse, you just want the hair to be either closer to the head, or you wanna make it to where it's not so bulbous and big. And now I'm gonna be taking sections, and I'm gonna show you this, I've done this in my video before. Now what I wanna do is that I'm actually gonna be coming in here and I'm gonna be removing a little bit of weight just like that. And I'll just cut out some of these little, little channels right through there. I'm gonna come in and I'll just remove some of this hair just like that. Now I'm gonna take this exact same section because I wanna show you guys how this works. Now you can actually see how I've cut and these, these hair is starting to kind of curl right through here. And so I remove some of that hair in between there, okay? Now, when it comes down to using a texturizing scissor, just like that, I'm gonna take this section right behind the back of my previous section and I'm gonna be coming in here. Now, depending on, I'll take this hair right by the part I'll take this out and I'm gonna show you, most of the time I cut on top of my fingers, but I'm just gonna show you below. And so I'll come in and I'll just take and I'll close my line just like that. And then I'll hit it again and then I'll hit it again. And I'll hit it three times. I hit it here, here, and here. Now let me come out and I'm just gonna brush all of this hair out. Now, as you can see, you can see all of that hair falling through here. Now, when I go to brush that down, you're gonna see this weight come out just like that. Now, you're not gonna see, you can see how it just eventually gets thinner all the way out. This is a really nice way to go about on like wavy to straight hair. I used a texturizing scissor here. Now, this move removes about 50%. So every cut that I put down, 50%, 50%, 50%. Now something like this is going to remove 20%. So it'd be 20, 20, 20. So it's gonna be a lot less. Now, depending on the texture that you want in the hair, go for that type of scissor. 
Now what we wanna do is that we're going to come in and I'm gonna be using a razor. When I come in here, and I'm gonna show you guys this right here on this camera right through here, you can actually see how this section, okay? Now when I come in with a razor, I'm gonna hit this side, boom, 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 just like that. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna hit this side, boom, 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 okay? And now you can see how much hair that we actually took out just like that. Show you guys this again, okay? Now when it came down to your blunt scissor, just like that, I cut in between like this, and then my texturizing scissor, I just cut just like that, and then my razor, I cut on the left side and then the right side. Now let's go ahead and show you guys over here on this dry hair, and the same thing applies when we are gonna do that. The thing about when you guys are working on wet hair, when the hair is wet, it kind of clumps together, and so you can actually cut more hair. Now, when it comes to dry hair, you know, the, the hair kind of expands, and you actually have to be a lot more aggressive to take out more hair. Now, that's the thing about cutting texture when it's dry versus wet, so keep that in mind. Now, I did the same exact movements on this one, and you're gonna see that you can actually see it a lot more aggressive on the actual, you can see those two little spaces in between here, okay? Now we're gonna take, and I'm actually gonna use my texturizing scissor that's more of like that 20%. I'm gonna show you how this works. Now I'm gonna take out like that little top portion here. Boom, boom, boom. And you can see how it's a lot less hair in my hand, just like that, okay? Knowing that if you are dealing with somebody that you don't wanna take out as much or you're a little bit more afraid, you can use something that is a little bit less, just like that. Then going in, texturizing over here on this side, and you're gonna see, I'm gonna hit it just like that, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna hit it over here on this side. And again, it's not like we're taking out a ton. It's a little bit more aggressive. You can see how much hair that is on that side. Now the thing about it is you can start to see how that really collapsed just that top portion. And we just worked on this top portion down through here. I did not take out any sort of hair down through that bottom portion that is still very, very, very thick. So what I would do is I would actually take these sections and I work, work this bottom portion and then I'd work this bottom portion down through here. A haircut is not completely done when you cut the outside shape. You've got the outside shape and then you've got the inside shape. And that's really where personalization comes in place. Everybody that I've been cutting hair since I've begun back in the day, you know, it's still kind of sinking here, but we're just gonna sink it right down there. So I can really just get personal here and just talk about thinning hair and why thinning hair is so, so important, guys. So just remember, Okay, this is the best way on how to thin out your hair. Blunt scissor, texturizer, and or razor. Guys, my name is Jake Thompson Hair. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next video.